Turn the blower on to draw the fire now. Pump some feed water in. See if any more of quite smooth on steam, a lot smoother than what it was on compressed air. It's quite a bit louder when I'm under load though. I'll connect the drive band up to this winding mechanism soon and we'll see if it'll pull up a traction engine. It's going to have track where the ballast is when I get some track and it's going to haul some wagons up. Let some pressure build up now. Right, let's give it a go. Not quite enough pressure yet. quite slow at building up pressure as I'm only using a meth burner at the moment. I'm hoping to get a big gas burner set up for it soon. Should make light work of what we need to do with it. This is my new home built boiler I've got. I've made it myself. It's uh, seven and a half inches long and two and three quarter inches in diameter. Most of the fittings are from Mac models and came in quite good time. Uh, safety valve is an uprated Mamod safety valve from NSF. The engine unit itself is a Marklin 4097 engine, but it's just the engine unit, with no base or boiler. So I've put a new base on it made of wood, soft wood. 
and it needed a new oiler lid but threads had, were worn in the oiler itself so I bought a Willesco oiler for that and I've soldered that in with it The eccentric disc is so I'm worn. in the process of making a new one for it before that one splits. Safety valve almost the thin. Twenty five PSI boiler. Hydraulically tested to fifty PSI. Originally, I had it at 50 psi. I retested it when I got an uprated safety valve to 90 psi, and it held up no leak because everything was fine. So it's quite safe at 25 psi. Safety valve just feathering now. Wait for it to lift, and then I'll try and pull engine uh, traction engine up for you. That's safety valve lifting. Blower blown through. Let's give the engine a try and just fill it up with steam. It's got any water out. Taking the strain now, see if it'll pull up. At 25 psi this engine is that powerful that I only need to turn this globe valve only a couple of millimetres open and it just lets enough steam through to keep it pulling this load up. Overall it opens about five times, to rotates about five times before it's fully open which gives you an idea of how much steam it actually uses and needs to pull a load this big. I have to open it a bit more at the start to fill the cylinder up, but then once it gets going, it's yeah, it just shoots it off and it's going back down and it actually rolls. I'll open it up to full fire, or I'm way back to show you how much power it actually has. Take the strain of the weight and I'll open the valve up full and show you how much power it's got. As you can see, it's not much different from when I've only got the valve open slightly. Due to there not being any extra load, therefore, that steam is not needed. And I'll send it down and up a couple of times and think I'll call that it. And back up again. Banging from the eccentric, which is why I'm making a new one. It's getting quite warm now. And back down again, and then I think I'll do. I'll just have engine ticking over and show you how much. 
power there actually is with this boiler. I'll open it just a tad to get it turning over. And as you can see, that's just a few millimetres open. And now if I open it full, Quite a powerful engine. As you can see, it's nice and smooth when it's low speeds, quite quiet. Goes really slow now on steam. some condensation out and that's it. Well thanks for watching.